Hi, we're CSS. My name is Anna. I'm Love Fox. I'm Carol. And we're here at the web so how to do a show inside the whole CMJ thing. The first time was in 2006. We've played, uh, but you know, it was we had the real CMJ experience. It was five shows in two days. <laughs> we we were really, really, really on a budget, and um, we were. My space was really big, so we were t uh, writing on the or wall or uh, whatever it was called at that time, saying like, "Do you have a house for us to stay?" And this guy gave his apartment for it, us to stay. So half of the band and crew stayed in. It was like Prince and Thompson, and um, it was a really nice place. The guy was nice, but it was kind of weird because he wanted to. Uh, yeah, it was cool. It was, it was nice. I wouldn't give my house to a band unless you know. It was just a. It, it was just a crazy experience. On the Halloween day, I I dressed up as a fried egg, so I was wearing white, and I decided to keep on wearing the white clothes until the end. And by the end of the the CMJ marathon, it was just smelly and dirt and. We call it in, in Brazil the color of the donkey when it runs away. Yeah. Cor de burro quando foge. In Brazil we have lots of references to donkeys. The biggest difference of this album for the, to the other album to Donkey, <coughs> our second album, is that Donkey we did it like in the middle of touring. So we wanted to do an album that was like very strictly strictly what we did live. So it was very like rock album and the this, this songs usually sound a lot like how we play them live. One of the things about La Liberación, our third album, is that uh, it has chorus. Because on the first album we don't have chorus in some of the songs. True. And it has lots of chanting that the you know, crowd can do with us. And it's, it gives uh, an, a space for a good interaction that it didn't happen before. I like that uh, our show is, is part of CMJ because it makes it exciting because when people are in like a marathon, uh, a music marathon or a festival, the kind that you go to different venues to watch, people they're just like craving, like I want to hear more, and they're just like so open to hear as much as they can. So it, it, it's very exciting to be part of that and to be the last first band you're interviewing. Yeah, that's big. It's very mature. Yeah.